Hello ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls This is Shin and you're watching Coffee Shin TV So I'm gonna review the Niche Zero grinder that I have It's been like 6 months that I've been like together with her I've been together with Niche for 6 months So anyway Yeah It's been really good It's really good that I have a Conical grinder actually, that's the best part Yeah, I'm really happy with it So I used to have a Comandante grinder Like you know the hand mill Comandante Which is a really fancy one from Germany But I just gave it to my sister Cause she's gonna like start to make coffee at home And it's been like spare grinder for me Because as long as I have the electrical grinder I really didn't want to do the <laughs> So you know what I mean So anyway I just gave it to her and I just really happily used the niche grinder so far So First things first The name of the grinder Her name is Niche Zero Because this one doesn't have any like retentions in there Remains in the chamber like which is the bursts are in Yeah, but I've been experiencing like a little, a little, a tiny, tiny amount of retention Which is like 0.2 grams uh, It's been like maximum 0.2 grams Which is kind of like nothing But if you really care about like your dosing So when you like, oh, when I put 20 grams in there I have to get 20 grams out you're that kind of person then it can be like quite amount of retention for you but for me i'd rather just like put 0.2 grams more when i like start to grind and then grind it then i can get like what i want so i'll show you in like real life how the retention is gonna remain let's do this so firstly i'm gonna like those my coffee there you go, there you go And here I've got some coffee in this container I'm gonna add those 20 grams 20.1 Can you accept that? I can, so just let it slide Yeah, and then I open it up and then put the beans in here It's already teared with this dosing cup so after I grind the coffee and then when I want to like re-weigh it Then I can get the results of the ground coffee And the dial is on here, it's on 18 So let's do this There you go It's 20.1 gram Nishiro, I love her I actually sleep with her sometime I'm kidding <laughs> The one sleep with grinder so that was zero retention as its name At least I want to try five times Because it could be just a luck I was lucky Oh this time I got 20 grams exactly 20 grams exactly No retention la It's the third one 20.2 oh, whatever 20.1 gram 0.1 gram retention this time And that's the fourth one 19 point <laughs> 9 grams this time 19.9 grams Zero retention again The last one 20.1 gram 20.1 gram Zero Zero So as its name There was zero retention How good is that? It can be slightly different by the coffee beans condition If there was like 0 0.2 retention I was gonna like make an excuse that like uh, yeah, 0 0.2 is not really counting like grind award but the maximum was 0.1 gram, so which is kind of nothing Because uh, to be honest with you, I count 0.2 grams as different What I mean is, if I dose like 0.2 grams less and more And then I make coffee with it, the taste of coffee is slightly different But 0.1 gram, I can really like distinguish the taste from it So it's totally like acceptable If you are really worried about it, just put like 0.2 grams more when you start to grind that's it and here's the second one what i want to talk about is the dial the niche zero has like wide range of dial so it's like the other grinders as well actually if you call any grinders like for espresso but it can make like pull over as well because yeah it's just like sort of nuts and bolts if you tighten it the gap between the bursts getting like smaller if you like lose it the gap between the bursts gets bigger so if the gap is bigger then it's for like pullover if the gap is really small 
then it's per espresso. That is it. So any grinder has like really wide range of dial and also niche as well. But the thing is though, on here, the grinder dial on here shows the range of the each coffee making method. So there is espresso and the filter grid. So it's really simple, but, but, but it's not really correct. If the dial, my dial, this one is calibrated on the calibrate right here. So if you turn the dial all the way, the fine is on the calibrate, right? So it doesn't go anymore. So in that case, my grinder dial range for the espresso is about like 16 to 24. So for lightly roasted coffee, I use 16 to like 18. But for dark roasted coffee, I use like 22 to 24, something like that. And like medium roasting in the middle. So the espresso range is about right. But the thing is though, filter drip... Uh... It's quite... Yeah, it can be right because it's for AeroPress. For AeroPress, in the range, it's about right. But for like 360 kind of like pullover method, it can be like too fine. So the range that I use for the like 360 or like Kalita Wave kind of like dream method is on here. About like this red dot to the Calibrate like this. But it doesn't really matter, right? Even though there is no like mark or like numbers on there, but still it can grind that like range. So it doesn't matter. I'll prove the thing that I just said. So I'll make espresso and AeroPress and V60. So firstly, I'm gonna do the espresso and I'll use 19 grams, about 19 grams of coffee. Yeah, 18.9 grams though, I just still use it. It's quite light roasting, so I'll use 17, yeah 17. So I put 18.9 grams in, 19.1 grams out. Probably there was a little bit of retention and while I grind the coffee, it just came out together. So it has like 0.2 grams of the coffee that I used before, previously. But anyway, I'll see you make it. So setting, presets, menu flow control for GHC group head a controller. If you want to know more about the group head controller, how to do the manual chat, then click here. And subscribe is on. And there. Subscribe, please. And the goal, main goal of this testing is not like making really good taste coffee. This thing is getting the acceptable pressure at like acceptable flow rate. Then the dial that I set is like suitable for making espresso, right? So let's do this. So I'll do the pre-infusion F4 for like 8 seconds. So there you go. And then before pre-infusion finishes, I'll just push the water to 6 milliliters per second. And then the pressure goes up to about like 8 bar. Yeah, it seems fine. And, and that's it. That's it. It's too much though. Yeah. But anyway, you can see that it's, it gives like, like proper pressure at like certain flow rate. So it's acceptable grinder point for the espresso, especially for the light, lightly roasted coffee. If for a dark roasting coffee, I have to use like coarser grinder dial. Next one is the AeroPress. So here I got my AeroPress. So here I got my AeroPress. Paper filter is on here. It's time like before, 19 grams. 18.9, I'll still do it. And then I'll set the dial on 30, 34, grind it. And I got 18.9 grams exactly. Put this coffee in here. I pour up to 100, there you go. I'm gonna steer it, but I lost my AeroPress stick. So what I do is I use chopsticks. You have chopsticks at your home, right? Like me, I'm Asian, so. And then pour up to 230, that's it. I just push it right now. So get it and then press it. So if I feel like right pressure when I press it, then it's acceptable like grinder dial, right? And I feel right. It's not too hard to press it in and it's not like not too easy to press it. There you go. It's still very nice, but it would be better if I used like coarser grinder dial, probably like 36 or something. And then I'll do the V60. My V60 is here. 
You can see my eye. So same like before, I'm gonna use 19 grams. Yeah, 19.1 grams. And I'm gonna do the timer during grinding because I forgot so far. But the next one is the how long it takes to grind one cup, like 18 grams to 20 grams. It's 19 grams though. So there you go. It took 14 seconds for like grinding 19 grams for the 360 diet. So I got 19.1 grams out, exactly zero retention, perfect, love it, yes. And I'm gonna use the standard 360 paper filter right here. Open it up, open it up. Rinse it. Let's do this. It's about right. 40 grams. It's about right. I do the basic pour over. So if water can go through as I like usually do, then the dial is right. Be more, 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 more. I'll wait up to one minute and five seconds. And up to 250. Yeah, it's two minutes and 10 seconds and all the water went through the paper filter and that's it. So it's about right, right? So that was the grind dire range. To be continued in the next video, don't forget subscribe for more Coffee Shin TVs. Thank you for watching. Peace out.